this shit. Mid ult. Holy shit. There's a lot of setup with this ult. Two nanosomes in vents. I'm not sure I understand this because they have a player in vents. I would understand if they have no players in vents. But the Viper Wall is just stopping them from pushing so much time. They buy so much time. I love it, man. This is why I love Viper and Split. Okay, so now KO rotated. So this is nice. So now Viper... Look look at the position of the Viper. This is this is now super strong. The entire mid is controlled by Viper alone. You see this shit? If someone will try... This is super smart, by the way. If someone pushes this Viper pit into vents, he's gonna get known by uh by the the alarm bot and there are two nanosomes here that person is dead if he pushes through here he gets dk that dk will be around if you shift through it's gonna be around 80 damage maybe even more so you go with half hp into this spot and you get killed by nanosomes super fast and because of that the viper doesn't have to play in this area to hold this choke point because she can just hide in here and let people go into this trap. This is so smart and because of that, Fnatic can play two players on B, two players on A. The Viper still fortifies A site. Super nice. Super nice setup. They have so much utility and it's it's great like combo play and synergy between Killjoy and Viper here. Very nice. Why not? We want. Look at this. Doma and Mystic playing in spawn. Uh, eh? I want to ask this B Viper wall. How does it make sense? How this makes sense is that Doma will play for a flash. As he's going to just throw here. Right? And those players take this space. Because now, what is, what is being done here is Fnatic just goes in. So flash from Doma that will land over here somewhere. So it will flash either here, here, or here, or something like this, right? The players from Fnatic, they're going to go in on site here, check the left corner and back site, because those are angles are isolated by the Viper wall that is being used here, right? And then, when this flash is going to happen, they're going to peek from this wall, because they're going to get free frags because of the flash. This is why Doma plays here, I don't know, I'm not sure if this is like the best possible lineup, but it's it's most likely for this. You're just rocking with this. Okay, so now they check if someone is on site. This is a dagger that is landing in 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 like on the tower in the middle of the site here. And this checks if someone is in the corner, in this corner, right? Or default or here. So essentially if it doesn't attack anyone, Fnatic knows that there's no one in here, 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 here here and that's essentially it so the only things that they have to be worried about is this area this area and this area here as you can see it carves out a lot one dagger actually carves out a lot of map control for for fnatic and because of that now they're able to just go in and just take control of those specific spaces on the map for free. Yeah. see they're already on site here the smoke from Mystic also covers heaven, and there's a by, grenade from Doma landing. Of... I don't know even know where, but now he flashed through the wall. It landed, I think, in in this spot here, in in the corner of B, and he flashes them through the wall. So it's everything is here really well organized. They use a lot of util against an eco, but they didn't take no risks, and this is very well done. This is very well done by by Fnatic. They did they use different flash than I thought they will use, but it just makes sense because they do the dagger slash recon in this case, and then they use the flash to take on the space. The one thing I don't like about this wall is that it seems like they're trying to use it again. And I feel like that kind of execute only works once. Still beautiful. <laughs> what? Where is guess precise gunplay? What are you talking about? No disrespect to the casters here, but I really hate coining the term precise gunplay when Boaster literally has an SMG. The gun is made to do stuff like this. But the zoning is perfect. Look at the snake bite and look at the uh, KO grenade. It. Look at this. Look at this. 
Look how much space is being taken by utility. Snake by snake bite and grenade. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Thank you for watching. We're going to see each other during the next video, which will be coming up soon. You know what to do. You, you, you can leave a comment and stuff like that. I'm not going to try to convince you. But if you would like to have a conversation with me, you can leave a comment. I will definitely answer.